The Kakuro Project is a mixed-media story that tells the tale of ten kids fighting back against a cruel fate and making a place in this world for themselves. It's a story about how life is defined by the bonds we make and that salvation and paradise can start with just one person and their kindness. That said, unless you are following the series every step of the way from the very start, it can be hard to tell where to find the actual story and how best to experience it. It may seem daunting, but it's not as complex as it looks and it'll be well worth the investment once you're there. To start, what exactly defines the Kagro Project? The main installments, that being the items that directly contribute to telling the main story, is a series of Vocaloid songs, a manga named Kagero Days, a series of light novels also named Kagero Days, and lastly an anime named Mekaku City Actors. There's more than this if we're getting technical, but it's in these mediums that the real meat and bones of the project lie. Okay, so now we know the content. How do we tackle it? The story, no matter what you do or where you start, is told achronologically. It was designed in such a way that you, the reader slash listener slash watcher, would piece together bits of information as you interacted with the project more and more. That's the fun of it all. That said, there is an order that I would recommend if all else is the same. Listen to the songs first, then read the manga, then read the light novels, and lastly watch the anime. The middle two have some flexibility. The novels lead well into Makaku City actors, but it isn't strictly necessary you read them before the anime. What is important, however, is adhering to the book ends of this order. That is, the song should absolutely come first, and the anime should absolutely come last. There are 33 total songs in the Kagura Project. That said, these 23 are the ones I would designate as being of utmost importance. The other 10 are a nice supplement, but aren't going to change how you think about the story or characters in a major way. Of these 23 songs, I would heavily recommend listening to them in the order that they were released, as information was paced alongside release dates. This isn't strictly necessary, but will make for a more coherent narrative and mental organization as the story unfolds. Following the songs, you should then read the manga. There are 13 total volumes of manga. At this point in time, 12 of them are localized and available on Amazon, and the 13th will be released November of this year. Though there's 13 of them, the volumes are all on the shorter side. This is by no means a massive manga. Onto the novels, there are 8 of them, and all of them are available on Amazon in English right now. If you just want a taste of what the novels have to offer, I had the entire first one available as an audiobook on my channel. The story of the Kagura Project is one that requires active thinking on the part of the reader to understand in full. Many details are only told in one of the mediums and not the others, leaving it the responsibility of the reader to remember them and make the necessary connections. It's only when the reader has experienced as much of the story as possible, and reached most of the story's truths, that they then should move on to Mekaku City Actors. Mekaku City Actors is a 13-episode anime directed by Studio Shaft. In its brevity, it does not tell all of the story's information. Rather, it assumes that you've been keeping up, and skips over many of the details told in the other stories. This is why it's imperative that you only watch it after seeing as much of everything else as possible. Something important to realize is that every part of the project is just that, a part of a greater whole. No one medium is an adaptation of the whole story. Every element of the project tells only a fraction of a larger narrative, that once put together by the reader becomes a powerful and moving whole. The Kakura Project isn't easy to consume. One needs time, resources, and patience. But if you do have the determination to see it through, you'll be rewarded with one of the best stories I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing. And if you're working through it and are having some difficulties, don't worry. Just remember that nothing will make perfect sense right away. And if you need some help, I have a whole slew of videos breaking down individual elements of the project. Everything from story clarification to thematic analysis. Believe me, there's nothing I want more in this world than for people to experience the story as easily as possible. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Catch you next time.